We are in Roswell, New Mexico. It's a beautiful morning, kind of. We got hit with a winter storm last night. Got a few inches of snow. You can see the Bronco. A little bit of snow on it. I'm gonna have to uh, get off. It's about 11 degrees here right now. But I am still looking forward to seeing the city. But it's cold. Now I know all you northerners are saying, that's nothing Spoda. We're used to five, eight, 12 inches of snow. I know, I know, I'm from Texas. We don't see this often. But uh, Roswell seems cool already. Even here at the hotel, they've got little aliens guarding the entrance. So, I'm gonna explore the city and see all the alien influenced schlick or schlock. <laughs> and uh, can't wait. I am in the heart of downtown Roswell, New Mexico. As you know, it's a city famed for a UFO incident. It happened in 1947. Supposedly a weather balloon went down. Just a regular old weather balloon. But what made this one different is the US military in a top secret manner recovered the debris. Now anybody could have recovered that debris, right? But nope, the, the US military did and they didn't let anyone else see it. Now, years later, those who were there, who were in the military said that extraterrestrial debris had been recovered. Things from an out of this world nature, stuff that only aliens from another planet could have created. And thus sprung Roswell and its big tourist industry based around these aliens. And it's pretty delightful. You see the little alien stuff everywhere. Even their uh, street lights look like aliens. I'll walk over to one right now and show it to you. Now mind you, it's February, they still got Christmas stuff up. <laughs> but still, how cute is that? They got an alien up there with a Santa hat on. All the street lights on this main drag in town look just like that. Anyway, even though it is about 13 degrees out here, really cold for this Texan, I'm gonna go look around and see some of the UFO schlock that this city celebrates. I'm at Invasion Station, a gift shop here, but it's got a really cool mural on the side of the building depicting the events of 1947 and the US military recovering the alien spaceship and the aliens getting ready for the cover-up, the big cover-up that has spawned a huge industry, a big tourist industry, right here in Roswell. I want to swing around the front of the building. You can see all the delightful alien artwork, including Grogu, who I guess if he was here on Earth would be an alien. But you gotta love the spaceship and the aliens up there on the roof. How awesome is that? Mega awesome, I say. Big alien here. Watching over the parking lot. <laughs> and of course, the US Army restricted area back here in this alley. This is the kind of stuff I love. This Americana schlock camp, if you will. It's the greatest thing in the world. Now this is the world famous alien themed Dunkin' Donuts. What a brilliant idea by that company. Because this is one of the most famous 
are most photographed, rather, areas of Roswell, New Mexico. And right across the street from it is the famous spaceship McDonald's. McDonald's shaped like a flying saucer. Sort of. You can tell there's a flying saucer in there. And uh, of course, they've got a bunch of aliens standing guard outside the front. And a bunch of guys cleaning the snow and the ice off the parking lot this cold morning. I'll get a little bit of closer look at the alien. Keeping an idea on, the, or keeping a, keeping a lookout, searching for their brothers to come rescue them from their crashed spaceship here in Roswell. But it was, alas, too late for them. The U.S. military, as we all know now, got to them first. Yeah, who, who doesn't want to go to that McDonald's someday in the future? I know I would. <laughs> Very campy though. Alright everybody, I had to come back to the car and warm up. I know, you're a wuss, Boda. What can I tell you? We Texans are just not used to this. <laughs> it is... Uh, 13 degrees here so it's warmed up a little but I got cold what can I say actually I'm fine I mean my face is a little cold see my rosy cheeks it was mostly my hands and even the wife said hey where's your gloves problem is I can't operate the camera with gloves so I felt like I was getting frostbite out there. So here I am warming up before I head to the next place. All right, I have warmed up and I'm back out on Main Street, Roswell, New Mexico, checking out some of the artwork and graffiti. Roswell Jazz Festival. How about that? It's quite a turn of events for me and the wife. As those of you who follow our channel know, we were in Key West, Florida, enjoying 80 degrees and sunshine and bikinis and swimming. And just a short time later, we're in the frozen tundra of New Mexico. But I love it. The ever-present alien. waiting for his brothers and sisters to come pick him up from their crashed spot in the New Mexico desert. Of course, it might be presumptuous for me to say brothers and sisters. Who knows what sex, any sex, aliens or these particular aliens are. They may reproduce in a completely different manner. Hmm, things to ponder. But anyway, yeah, this is old downtown Roswell, New Mexico. It's kind of quiet. It must be warm up though, because look, we're seeing, or uh, there is water melting off this roof. So that's a good sign. I'm at a barber shop now. Diamond cuts, they call themselves. And of course, it is to be expected that aliens may need their hair cut. And so it seems they are advertising their services, not just for humans, but for people or things or creatures from beyond our solar system. Yes, they are open for business for extraterrestrials. So that is a good thing to see. Across the street from me now is the International UFO Museum. The wife wants to go there, so we will be uh, visiting that place later this afternoon 
It's supposed to have some really cool stuff inside. So I'm looking forward to that. Alien Invasion. Love it. That is a great picture. That's going up on my Instagram. Which is Lord Spoda, by the way, if any of you want to follow me there. All right, going to head this way a little bit. I got some little shops here. All alien themed, of course. Alien Bakery. Very nice. And uh, smells really good, too. <laughs> you can smell the fresh baked bread. All right. I'm at the Roswell Chamber of Commerce, where you can see even here, the aliens are celebrated. I gotta tell you guys, <laughs> my mouth is so cold I'm having a hard time talking. So pardon my speech in places. But anyway, how cool is this, huh? The family of aliens settling in for life here in southern New Mexico. Now you've got to admit, this is really cool. One of the Roswell aliens riding the Roadrunner. Of course, from the Wile E. Coyote cartoons, which I grew up on. Some of you may have as well. Interesting shop, it's closed right now. But they got some interesting displays here. Some more interesting wood carved aliens. You can see the wood base. Delightfully tacky and, well, a beauty to it as well, in my opinion. And let's not forget the ship crashed into the wall. So I'm at a uh, print shop, checking out their wacky, wonderful business art. Gotta love it, huh? This is a big one too. An alien style printer, I suppose. Or is that a shredder? Hmm, maybe not. But it's good to know that if you're an alien and you're in town and you've got some printing needs, you've got a place to come to. I really like this one, it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna head to the famous Roswell welcome sign. Every entrance to Roswell from the road has an interesting welcome to Roswell sign, but this is the best one of them all. It's really cool. <laughs> some graffiti on it but um, yeah I'm just gonna pan across here slowly let you get a look at it appears that a woman is offering an alien apple pie the alien doesn't seem interested <laughs> somebody cut this aliens head off that kind of sucks he's holding ET And people have written a lot of stuff here on the signs. Oh boy. I don't know if you can see that one, but uh, hmm. Might be an idea to come clean this up. I don't know, maybe. It's still cool looking though. I wanna back up and get a, a view from it, or a view of it, sorry. See if I can get the whole thing here. Yeah, I'm about to back into the bushes, but okay, here we go. Yeah, how cool is that, huh? <laughs> All right, well, the wife is texting me. She's ready to go to the Alien Museum. Can't wait. All right, we are at the UFO Museum. Checking out the 1947 Roswell UFO incident. <laughs> it does first, really look like that. First thing we see when we walk in the door. 
Did they have duct tape back then in 1947? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poor guy must have broke his elbow. Not his elbow, I'm talking about his neck. I know, on the neck got... and on that guy's arm. Oh, I didn't he's see got... the eye. Oh, okay. They've got duct tape. Duct tape around his neck. I figured they would have future. Oh, he's got duct tape there. I figured they would have futuristic healing. I guess not. <laughs> mm. It doesn't bode well, does it? Well, there's another guy. I like the looks. Look at this one. Oh, He's made out of tires. Oh hmm. my gosh. See? That's funny. Yeah. Like, is that like our, are they like our spare tire or our old tires that we throw in the garbage? We throw Probably. In the trash? Probably. Mm -hmm. A rendering of what happened in 1947. Wait, does it go from there around? I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. It starts over. Here is a rendition of what bystanders saw on that fateful day in 1947. Yes, the truth. Yeah, I didn't know it uh, was animated. <laughs> Yeah, what a show. They're here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was looking around. That makes the whole thing worth it, huh? I was looking around trying to find it. The day the earth stood still. And here he is, the robot. <laughs> So there he is, the alien discovered in 1947. Mm. I believe it. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> this is a rendition of US military doctors desperately trying to keep the alien alive. He doesn't look too good, does he? Hmm. I wonder what that's supposed to be. Look at those masks. Everybody's gotta wear them now. Well, we have just exited the museum. It was pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, it was. It's pretty fun. I like the stuff about the pop culture the most. Oh, and the aliens with all the smokes. Yeah. <laughs> with all the smoke. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't have a lot of uh, displays. It was mostly just information. Yeah. But it was pretty. Was. But it was pretty interesting information. Anyway, we're gonna head back to the hotel. All right, we're done in uh, Roswell, New Mexico, and we stayed at the Baymont Hotel, which is right on the main drag. What'd you think? I think we've. I don't know. We're kind of victims of when we of when we came here. I think we came here at the wrong time, yeah. because. Everything that we like about a hotel, the pool, the hot tub, the gym, they're all under renovation. Yeah. Appar well, apparently the pool and the hot tub are unusable because a pipe had broken between the two of them, and they're actually waiting for somebody to come and fix that. Who knows how long or how, how long in the future it's going to take for them to get that done. Yeah. And then the gym, we thought was available, and then I went down there, and there was this guy painting half of the room. And I'm like, oh, and of course I'm sure I used an expletive there. <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, no, no, wait, you can, you can work on that side of the room and I'll just ignore you and work on this side. So I'm not sure about that. I mean, paint fumes while they work out? I don't know. Oh, you said the Wi-Fi was good. Wi-Fi so. solid, uh, you know, the room's okay. The, you could tell it's an older hotel that was once really nice. But it's clean. So. It's clean. It's in a little bit of disrepair. Has a decent breakfast, but uh, it's okay. It's really inexpensive. Oh, that's right. So it we have to go and pop, we have to the to that night. This is the lowest price hotel we've stayed in. I mean, it's, I mean, it, it's not bad for that price. It's actually not bad at all. Yeah, for the price, it's actually pretty decent. I forgot about how cheap it was. Yeah. So, what do you think? Three point six. Yeah, somewhere around there. Three point eight. I'll go a little bit higher than her. 
So that's it here. Uh, we were, we are heading to Santa Fe next. So be looking for that video. Yay.